Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new and if you are new my name is Martha and today I'm going to be sharing a walkthrough of this beautiful deck. It's called the Archangel Animal Oracle Cards. It was the walkthrough was requested by my beautiful friend Rain. She wants to see uh, all the cards and I don't blame her because it's a really nice deck and we are both animal lovers so we're attracted <laughs> to these types of cards. So there are 44 cards in this deck. They come in this nice sturdy box to keep your cards safe and I use this deck regularly. I have never put it away. I'm constantly working with it because I enjoy animal decks. The issue I have with this one is that it's called the Archangel Animal. Each card is assigned an Archangel, but there's no explanation as to... Well, there's no real explanation as to why this Archangel is assigned to that specific card. And you'll, you'll see in a minute. It comes with this nice book. Lots of information. There's good guidance in the book. There's an explanation about the animal, and then you've got the guidance. An explanation basically about what they're like, why they're here, a little bit about their energy. And then it's got a black and white image of the animal, and along with the name of it, um, a small little statement, and um, the archangel that's assigned to that animal. So if we look at the beginning here, you've got how to use your cards. You've got the one card oracle, three card spread, seven card spread, and then you get into the interpretations of the animals. So there's an introduction from the author. And I don't really see there isn't, like, there really isn't an explanation of the Archangels. It's very brief before you get right into the cards. And I, I, I'm kind of disappointed about that. It doesn't make me like the deck less, but I think I would have really appreciated that extra information. It would have made this, it would have taken this deck to a whole other level. So I have to admit, I'm kind of disappointed about that. It would have made this deck that much more special. So let's take a look at the cards. This is the back of the cards. Very beautiful. Now the card stock is really good. It is a Hay House deck, and I always like their card stock. They are slightly glossy the cards so you see look you've got a reflection they're a bit hard to photograph and one of the things that really disappointed me right from the beginning didn't take long after I got the deck you notice all the little chips here little cracks and some of them are really bad like this card right here this card here. Pretty much all the cards have that problem. That really, really upset me because this happened immediately. The chip right here that you see that is really obvious, this happened within a day or two of having the cards. So, yeah, that was not well done the quality seems a little poor now i don't know if anyone else has this problem if you have this deck do you have the same problem as i do but i like to my cards to hold up for a while i mean i i kind of expected that sooner you know the more i use the deck eventually this is going to happen but i didn't expect it to happen right from the start within a day or two that was very disappointing anyhow let's take a look at the cards I still love the deck, <laughs> despite that flaw. So, as you can see, you've got a nice, very vibrant image. And then you have the animal. You have, you know, keywords, a statement, some type of message. 
and then you have the archangel below. So we're going to go quickly through the cards. I'm not going to read all the, the images. I'm just going to read the name of the animal or else we're really going to be here forever, forever. And I'm absolutely not going to, to attempt to, you know, name all the archangels. They're not all familiar to me. And I don't know how to pronounce many of their names. Okay, so let's get started. So we have the ant. Badger, Bat, I love this card. This is one of the reasons why this deck and I continue to connect with one another. Bat, see through illusion into truth. Absolutely stunning and I love that the moon is included in this image, which fits perfectly with that statement. Bear, B, Butterfly, Camel, Cat. This is another card, my one of my favorites in this deck. Be relaxed and independent if anyone knows how to re be relaxed and independent it would be the cat beautiful card cow deer dog dolphin donkey look at this one dove Spread messages of peace and harmony. Absolutely gorgeous. How can you not love this card? What I'll do at the end, I'll go through all the cards and at the end I'll pull a card for us and it'll be our message, guidance, focus of the day. All right, so stick around to the end. Or if you're impatient, just fast forward. <laughs> I hope you watch the whole video, but if you've got other things to do, that's okay. Eagle beautiful elephant oh just love this giraffe goat gray squirrel guinea pig so sweet hedgehog Horse, hyena, kangaroo, kingfisher, ladybird, llama, monkey, sweet, very sweet. Another one of my favorite cards, the owl. Listen to the messages of the angels. Panda, another stunning card. Parrot, so beautiful and vibrant. You can see why I love this deck so much with all its gorgeous colors. Pig. Rabbit. Rat. Raven, this one too, one of my top favorites. Prepare for change. Rhinoceros. Shark. Sheep. Snake. Swan. Tiger. Turtle, whale, and wolf. Be independent but work together. Such a nice message. So as you can see, the colors in this deck are just stunning. That's what I think I love so much about it. Shuffles well. 
The only problem I'm, the only thing I'm concerned about is the more little chips like this come along, the more difficult it will become to shuffle and maybe the cards will get stuck between each other and, and become even more damaged. So that's the only complaint I have with this deck. So I'm going to just pause the video for a minute, for a second, and uh, shuffle quickly and pull a card for us and we'll get a reading. All right, I'm back and I have such a perfect card for us for today, such a nice message. We've got Dove, spread messages of peace and harmony. Isn't that beautiful? I will read from the book and see what it has for us. Okay, so here we've got above about doves. The angels of peace work through doves and the pure white ones have become a worldwide symbol of peace. Their sole work is to approach humans and animals and bring them messages of love, peace and harmony. They communicate this through their energy fields. Angels of peace also work with pigeons, partridges, plovers, grouse, pheasants, and ducks who try to approach people and animals so that they can impart their loving light. These birds also spread peace through flowers, trees, and the land itself. The service work of doves is to peck the ground to prepare it for new seeds to grow. The cooing of doves may sound monotonous to human ears, but it contains keys and codes of peace and harmony to soothe our consciousness and open us up to elevated thoughts and possibilities. Your guidance is to take deep breaths and center yourself on the out-breath until you feel calm and tranquil. Fill the cells of your body with pure peace. Hold out your hand and imagine a gentle white dove landing on it. Listen to its soft coo and allow it to open you up to a serene and loving way of being. Let your energy fields glow with peace and harmony. Think of people and situations in your life that would benefit from your light and visualize them being bathed in it. Plant new seeds of kindness, love, cooperation, or whatever is most needed for the highest good. Notice what changes occur. When your energy fields contain the keys and codes of peace and harmony, you become a catalyst for transformation wherever you go. Isn't that just beautiful? This is what I love so much about this deck, these wonderful messages and these gorgeous cards that go with them. And this is so true. When we are at peace, we can infect others with that energy. So if there's some, some disharmony going on, if there's, you know, some negativity, when you walk into a room, for example, and you enter with that tranquil nature and that peace that surrounds you you can actually spread it to others it's noticeable it's infectious it's it's the type of energy that people latch on to so don't get caught up in any type of drama or any type of negativity or any type of dysfunction be that ambassador of peace and infect others with it so that it could spread not only in your home, but within your community, your neighborhood, your city, your country, and then it'll travel worldwide. So that's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think about this deck? Do you have it? Do you like it? Is there something about it that you don't like? Please share in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your support and I will see you next time. Take care and be well.